This is a follow on tech note from uh, 59 and we're going to look at some more advanced features of time services and uh, we're going to look at the use of the environment variable but you really ideally should look at techno 59 first. We assume that we're going to use the same time display function formatted to your requirement. That's the standard format I'm using at the moment. You set up Wi-Fi services, so Wi-Fi begin. Yeah, set up time, no need to set up time zone and daylight saving offsets as zeros will do. And you can display local time function. And so with that premise of a standard config time function, all we need to do now is set a time a set an environment variable called time zone. This one's called GMT and GMT minus one and has a whole series of parameters that need to be defined and I'll go through those in a moment. And then you can print UK time and Eastern Standard Time but all you need to do is change the environment variable and time will be changed for you. And uh, there's a an unusual example there of Indian time where it's in half an hour increments. So the environment variable format is defined at this web page here, time zone variable. In this example it's called GMT and GMT minus one and uh, that's its name. So there's the, there's the environment variable in full. So GMT, GMT minus one is the name of the time zone. Okay. Uh, GMT minus one is the abbreviation used when daylight saving time is off. And the minus one denotes the time difference between GMT and GMT minus one. And you can put positive and negative numbers there. And when GMT is the abbreviation used when daylight saving time is on. So M is month, that's month three, March. It's the fourth occurrence of day zero. Sunday is day zero, Monday is day one, Tuesday day two, Wednesday day three. So daylight saving turns on on the fourth Sunday in March at 0100 hours and daylight saving turns off on the 10th month and the fourth Sunday the fourth occurrence of day zero which is Sunday at 0200 hours and uh, it's quite mind-bending to get get to define the variables but but once you've got them in your mind, once you know how to do it, it's quite straightforward. So there's the string that's got to be used for set the time zone var environment variable. Just to recap, here's the basic setup required for your program. Set up your Wi-Fi. Uh, start the Wi-Fi service. Start the time service. Have a function to uh, extract time and um, same each time so no need to vary this time function at all and then to switch time around set your environment variable accordingly for your country the advantage is daylight saving is all now taken care of so to move to a different country you just need to change that time zone uh, variable environment variable and uh, and never have to worry about time again because the daylight saving rule there will take care of switching at certain times of the year. That's it folks, I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful.